Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is just a Cinema 4D tutorial and it's how to create uh, what I can only describe as a uh, time freeze. Um, in fact, I'll give you a quick example. I'll head over to my internet browser here. And uh, this is my intro contest I released on uh, 2010, uh, September the 7th. Uh, so let's go ahead and click play. And uh, as you see, uh, the camera is in like real time. And that is going like the fast as it kind of normally would be. However, it starts to explode. The, ex the initial explosion there is fast and it slows down. So that's going to be today's tutorial how to make uh, the effect of a uh, the effect of something in Cinema 4D to be in slow motion. However, let everything else be in uh, real time. Um, so I think without further ado, uh, let's get started. So in Cinema 4D, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your basic scene. So I'm going to go add a cube. And I'm going to drag it up by holding shift to 100. That means it will lie flat on the uh, floor, which I'm about to create. There we go. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit for now. And uh, that's looking good. Uh, maybe for the cube, I'm going to add Throusy. Uh, like in that preview you just saw, uh, so it break up. So the, ex the um, kind of sliding parts of the cube will be in slow motion. I'll make uh, 15 pieces. Uh, just bait. Oh, Christ. There we go. So then uh, go on the floor, right click, my graph's rigid body. Uh, what rigid body does, it enables a physics tag. Uh, so basically rigid body will follow the law of physics. So um, it'll be a hard object and it will rebound, etc. So if we just click play, go back to the beginning, you'll see that it's just sliding off each other um, like so. And that is it in real time. Pretty, that's the way Frousey works. Um, but the way to get it in slow motion is to go to edit, uh, project settings, and I bring this attributes panel down the bottom right. Under mode dynamics, you'll see there's a time scale. Now under the time scale, one is um, kind of real time and uh, is 100%. Uh, so uh, general knowledge, if you have 0.5, it will be twice as slow. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to change it to 0.2, uh, just so you really get an understanding of um, what we're going to be creating. And uh, so if go ahead and click play. Oh look, that explodes in slow motion. And that looks pretty cool actually. Uh, but you see that's in slow motion then. Maybe just add a camera in here. I'm going to click this little black box here. So you're viewing through the camera, not the um, editor camera. And I'm just going to keyframe it. Uh, keyframe here. And then go to about 15, 15 frames. Does not matter. If I'm honest, because I'm just showing you. But I'll make the key from a bit further on. Like 30, for example. And I'm going to go ahead and click play now. You see that's exploding in slow motion. But the camera... Uh, I'll make another camera angle, you know, just so you can really see. That'll go through the little gap here. That'll look, it might look quite cool. We'll see. Again, I'm just doing this for you guys. Um, there we go. See what, see what this turns out like. It explodes, dodges that piece, and it goes flies through the cube. And um, anyway, that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, creating a time freeze effect in Zinma 4D. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook or Twitter uh, if you want to get hold of me, request tutorials, or whatnot. Uh, but anyway, that's all for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.